friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on December 24th, 2022. Merry Christmas Eve to everybody, and welcome to another surviving day on the planet. God bless you all. Having a look here at the last 48 hours on our sun, still seeing some pretty active regions. Yesterday, we noted out in the southeast region, bottom right-hand side of our sun, we had that filament collapse. We had another one antipodal region, total opposite region of it, as well a couple minor C-class flares to talk about. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, still watching a pretty active sunspot region turning in. Well, cresting in, getting ready for an earth-facing view, as well in the southern hemisphere. Looking at the last 48 hours outgoing, large plasma filament taking off from our sun, and as well watching the last image Huge plasma shot coming from the sunspot region, the equatorial region. Right there. Some amazing imagery here brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Watching plasma filaments, coronal mass ejections, and as well, solar flares. Looking at multi-spectrum the last 48 hours, coronal hole has really diminished. Not much to talk about there as the sunspots have built. Other than that, we are already experiencing space weather, which we were expecting. We're seeing winds over 600 kilometers per second right now. This is our Christmas sun for 2022, December 24th. That's the only coronal hole region and it has since diminished since it shot out that plasma filament. Another one building in the northern hemisphere ahead of that cresting sunspot region. Another light look at our sun. Noticing our heliosphere. And as well, all the plasma ropes dancing around the sunspot regions. I want to thank everybody for tuning in and subscribing to Daily Events Worldwide. It's been a Merry Christmas all year. Welcome all of the new followers and welcome to the family. To all a Merry Christmas and to all a good night. I wanted to give you guys this quick quick update tonight. There will not be one tomorrow. Solar X-ray flux remains in the C range right now after shooting out a couple minor C-class flares overnight. Solar proton flux, slightly elevated. Geomagnetic activity is at KP3. Real-time solar wind, we're sitting at about 550 kilometers per second right now, but it was up over 630 kilometers per second just recently, and as well earlier on today, 655 kilometers per second coming in at one point. Having a look at our magnetosphere, see how it's holding up. This is showing all of the pressure, magnetospheric cut planes. Under a lot of pressure, we're waiting for all of this to release and we will see an uptick in seismicity, especially with the deep earthquakes that we've seen today. Having a look at the ISWA space prediction spiral, showing a CME blast taking off from that plasma filament that shot out from the sunspot region. It looks like we will get a glancing blow 28th into the 29th. Schumann resonance for today is a power of 10. Healthy spike there in the last few hours. Quality of 8.2, amplitude of 10, and a power of 6. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours as we're sitting at about 200 earthquakes across the USGS. But we're going to start out here in BC as Prince Rupert saw it. Yet another couple earthquakes here, north of the Juan de Fuca Plate, 4.5 and a 4.0, Prince Rupert. Unalaska seeing a 4.5 increase activity there. Hydesville, California, 4.2 there off the coast. And as well, a 3.5 here, Chalice, Idaho, still seeing some activity this week. 2.5 just recently, Mississippi, 12 kilometer depth. And as well at 4.5 there in the Gulf of California. Seeing the Caribbean plate with residual activity here. Largest being a 3.9. A 
Virgin Islands, overlooking Ecuador there, 4.1. And then South America, this is where we've seen most activity today, 5.0, Chile, Argentina border and as well, 4.3, 4.4 in between that and the 5.3 SN Chile. And then we get over into the Tonga region where we saw the deepest earthquake today, 587 kilometer depth, 4.4 earthquake Fiji, 4.7s arranging straight across Indonesia, Papua New Guinea, 5.0 there, Western Indonesia. And another deep earthquake, rare region, Bonin Islands region, South Japan, 5.0, over 500 kilometer depth earthquake. As well, a 5.1 here reported in Tabar, Iran. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes around the world. Nothing major to report, but expecting something larger over the next 24 to 36 hours based on space weather activity and as well the deep earthquakes we've seen in Fiji and the Bonin Islands. This is the last seven days across the world. Largest still being the 6.2 that rang out California last week. Much love everybody and just have a plan. Stay aware and prepared with daily events worldwide. Now let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center showing most recent satellite imagery and most recent volcanoes to update. Tokono in Indonesia, Sangay in Ecuador, Popo in Mexico, Raventador in Ecuador, about six volcanoes getting updated today that's not much activity but we've seen quite a huge plume coming out of South America Ecuador region where the Cotopaxi volcano is massive systems across the northern hemisphere right now I can't believe how far south that cold weather dipped right into the Gulf of Mexico yesterday huge low pressure system over eastern Canada right now and things are still developing across the Pacific right now. Deep polar outflow coming out of China. Tropical cyclone Darien is still alive. Looks like it'll be heading southward really fast. And as well, big systems there off the coast of Ireland and Spain. But high pressure ridge North Africa thwarting all that northward. Having a look at windy.com showing the windy models, very big system there, and as well over the East Pacific in the long range, and then through the North Atlantic as well in the long range. These systems are getting bigger, stronger, and colder. I wanted to show you the SO2 emissions models. As you can see, it has diminished across most of North America right now with all of that cold weather moving in. But across the rest of the world, we're seeing still a lot of high SO2 content from that eruption back a couple weeks ago with Mauna Loa. But look at all this SO2 coming out of Ecuador through the Cotopaxi, Reventador, amongst a couple other that are erupting through the region. Now let's get to weather as not much has changed since yesterday's forecast. Just wanted to give you guys a look at the moisture models here for the next few days overlooking North America, South America, and the rest of the world. Extreme weather moving in towards the new year for the Gulf states. Lots of moisture moving in off the East Atlantic into Europe. Things calming down in South Africa for heavy rains. And then interesting developments here overlooking Australia. As that low pressure system is still on land and is forecast here to rage across the Northern Territory of Australia, reform itself there along the coastline and then maintain its strength yet again for Western parts of Australia. So large low pressure systems being able to hold their velocity and their center of gravity, probably thanks to our collapsed magnetosphere. 
Heads up, everybody along the West Coast, you do have a lot of rain, as I've forecasted here in the last few days. But some intense weather will be moving in Tuesday the 27th and the 28th. Some very strong winds and heavy rains, heavy snowfall with that system. Much love, everybody. Merry Christmas and to all a good night. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.